Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And before I get started, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps out so much. And if not, thumbs down works as well. And if you like knife content and you're not already, hit the subscribe button. Alrighty. Today I'm going to do an EDC pocket dump. And I'm going to be honest with y'all guys. I'm, uh, I'm always honest to y'all. I really... Uh, well, I'm not in a good place today. I wasn't... My mental health wasn't the best, and I wasn't going to do a video, and that's why this is so late uploaded, but I know whenever I do videos for y'all, it always helps me out in the long run, so we're going to get through it. So today I'm going to do an EDC pocket dump. We hadn't done one of those in a little bit. Um, I try to do these whenever I'm, you know, carrying carrying my cool stuff, you know? <laughs> Uh, I don't always carry this, this stuff, but today I had a, a good bit of stuff on me. And let's start out in my left front pocket. Um, uh, I was carrying a, let's see, what is this one? The, uh, 300 pound gorilla made this sweet, uh, USA Hank. Very, very cool. Um, like it. And this one, I, I, I tend to carry these more in the summertime. I mean, in the wintertime, like uh, this type, this one's not as soft as what I carry in the summer. At the summertime, I'm wiping my face a lot, um, and I, I got to have a really soft one, but this one's very, very nice. I use it to clean off my knives and stuff like that when needed. Hadn't had to use this one too much. Um, <laughs> also, in that front left pocket, I'm carrying uh, an ink pen today, and today's the tactile turn tie side click short this is a short version uh the short one is like it's 5.3 inches weighs 1.1 ounce very very cool pen uh this one's in titanium i think you get in copper maybe zirconium brass i think and uh this is the standard version i mean with the standard titanium clip this version right here in titanium comes in at $100. Uh, the, you can get a, I think it's a Timascus clip for an extra $100. And it's a little expensive for me. I mean, $100 is expensive as well, but it's a quality ink pen. Um, I don't know if I could actually show this, but it's got these nice little milling lines on the, uh, the pen. I keep wanting to say knife. And it gives just enough grip. Let's see if you can hear it. I don't know if y'all could hear that or not, but it gives just enough grip because I was worried in pictures you don't really see those lines, and I was worried it's going to be too slick, but I like the thickness, and you can barely, let's see, you might be able to see it because of it being in 1080p, but you can barely see the line, the, the line where it, where you can unscrew this. I was like, wait, how did I unscrew this at? But yeah, there's a line. I'm sure it's, it comes out clear on camera. And it is very, very fidget friendly. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else in this left pocket? Oh, yep. Today I'm carrying my Lynch Northwest uh, All Access Pass V2.5. I get a lot of use out of these. Um, I know a lot of people, <laughs> they just buy them just uh, to put in pictures. But for me, whenever I'm doing like mod work or even whenever I'm, um, when I'm, you know, doing maintenance on knives, I always find myself prying stuff <laughs> and I try not to use my knives when possible. But uh, when I got two scales stuck together, I just put this in there and pop it. And then if I'm worried, you know, if it's a customer's knife or something, what I'll do is, is I'll wrap it and or put leather around it or put a, a towel around it just so i'm not scratching up their knife but i like this one a lot because it comes standard with a pocket clip and i i'm not one to have things dangle in my front pockets i don't i just don't like that um i put this uh leather cord on there and this is a tech accessory bead i think it is this is a copper i thought it went well with the the uh Pry bar. And let's see, nothing else in the left pocket. Let's see. All right, clip to me, my keys, um, just a key fob. And 
These two things are not always on the keys. Sometimes, uh, I mean, most of the time, I just pop this off and leave this in the truck. But if I if I don't want to, if I'm not carrying uh, a blade on me or two blades on me, that that, and I want something very lightweight, you know, or I don't want to ruin the edge on one of my knives just because you know just because I don't feel like sharpening it. I can always use this. This is the uh, Giltec Ruck. This is one of the original ones. He's done some changes to them. This one's in aluminum. Uh, I think the new ones have like a little pry section right here. Uh, you got a cap lifter right here. And all it is is uh, it's basically a little um, utility knife. It's got this little leaf spring right here. It's got a detent ball basically on it. I think I think it's a detent ball, but you just push down on the uh, blade and it locks in different stages there, and you can lock it there as well. And then you can put your finger right there. I, I usually I usually cut with it like this because I get a little nervous with my finger right there. I don't want to slice myself with a fresh blade. Uh, these in aluminum, you can get them for twenty bucks. So. If you always wanted one of these little tools and you didn't want to spend the hundred plus dollars on a Rexford rut, this is a good way to go. You can also get this, you can also get them in titanium and he has a version with, with copper show side and titanium backside. I might try out one of the titanium ones if, uh, maybe we'll see. And then this light, I like this little light. This is a Rovivon Aurora A3. Um, it's a little aluminum light. You can see it's been, been on me for a while. Uh, it is 650 lumens for this little light. Uh, very, very good. Bright. Let's see if I can, I don't want to, that's the low. Oh, I just turned it off. That's the high. Okay. Um, it's just a small package for for 650 lumens. This costs, I think, 30 bucks. Another thing I like about it is, is it's got a little recharging port right here. You just pull this. Uh, I don't know which way to pull it, but you pull that, and you plug one of them micro USB uh, plugs into here and charge it up. Very cool. I've been having this thing for a good while. Um, that, like I said, whenever I don't need it, it just stays in my truck. Y'all let me know, I, I was thinking about uh, doing tonight my truck EDC, basically what, what I keep in my truck at all times uh, as far as EDC gear. If y'all want to see that, y'all let me know down in the comments. All right, in my right pocket, I got a new flashlight the other day. Been wanting one of these for a while. And this is a Surefire EDC L1-T. Um... This is a USA made flashlight. That was the big uh, attraction for me. I wanted a nice USA made flashlight just because whenever I have a USA made product, I just take pride of ownership. It means something to me. You know, it was produced in my hometown or my, my country. Uh, definitely a high quality light. It it's, doesn't have any crazy functions on it or anything. Uh, this one, it has, uh, let's see if I can, you got a low right here, which is five, uh, lumens. So great for in the dark and you don't want to mess up your, you know, your night vision or whatever you call it. Um, and then a high, of 500 lumens. Pretty cool. I love, I love the fact that it's got a pocket clip. That's almost a must for me. Um, it's not a clicky, it's a tail switch, but um, you, you, you can press it for momentary on, like that. And if you light press it, you get low, you hard press it, you get high. And if you want it to stay on, you turn it, there's the low, and then you keep turning it if you want it to go too high. And then if you want to lock it out, you turn it enough to where it doesn't come on so pretty cool i'll be carrying that one a good bit and what what y'all what i know yeah 
the price on this they run uh most places i saw around 149 dollars um i picked this one up because I, i'd been wanting this but uh, it was a little little pricey for me but you know i know a good usa made product you know that has good warranty and stuff like that you're gonna pay for it uh i actually found this at my local cabela's i don't know if it was a mess up or what but they had it uh, marked at 119 so I jumped on it because I had a bunch of uh, Cabela's gift cards that were exactly that. Well, I had $120 worth of gift cards, so yay. And my blades for today. Carrying them, actually, both. They were both carried in my back left pocket. I'll do this from time to time. Let's move some of this out of the way. I was carrying them in this this uh, pocket uh, slip, I guess you call it. This was made for me by Battleground Leather on Instagram. Super nice guy. This is some nice soft uh, leather. This is uh, bison leather, I think it is. Super, super soft. If anybody's ever felt um, the Chris Reeve, uh, Chris Reeve knives uh, slip sheaths that they're lamb. I think theirs are made out of lamb. I'm not sure, but those sheaths right there that's what this feels like very very soft and supple um sometimes i'll carry a pen and a light just depends today it was it was my blades and one was the quiet carry drift the newer version with the thumb stud been loving this thing i've just just got it but man I love the original, and now Thumb Stud makes me even that much more excited about the knife. Nice, thin, lightweight, good snappy action like always. And uh, in the left left uh, pouch side, I guess, whichever you want to call it, I got the Buck Mayo Wyme. Um, just a, a cool smaller knife, Unless, if you want to see a size reference. Between these two it's a it's a about a quarter inch shorter than the uh drift this one has s30v blade steel it's got the paul boss heat treat deep hollow grind on here it's a very good cutter and not the thickest stock but not the thinnest ease either got a nice precise point for piercing comfortable in my hand fits my hand perfect if you have a large hand, this would probably be too small for you. Only thing I don't love about it is the tip down only pocket clip. And I wouldn't really care as much that it's tipped down, but this pocket clip is, I mean, I I can't even uh, I can't even barely lift it up whenever I pull up my fingers. So it's very, very tight. And doesn't matter when I'm wearing, you know, jeans that aren't thick or don't have a thick pocket, but Man, it's it's a pain sometimes. So I'm thinking about removing this clip altogether and either tapping it for a tip tip up or seeing if I can find one with uh, spacing that far and put them on those two. I don't know. So there you go. That That's what was in the pocket today. Um, let me try to get it all back on the screen. If you have any questions about anything in particular, let me know down in the comment section. Like I said, also, if y'all want to see uh, um, a truck EDC, y'all let me know. I would be happy to do that for y'all. And also, I, I enjoy testing knives. Um, and I, just like I do for every, before every review, I, I test these knives so I can get a good understanding on them. You know, I don't always do the same test, but just some real world cutting. But... I wanted to test some, you know, I guess you could call it a torture test. I wanted to test some to the limits and see what they can handle. I plan on doing some of my own, but if anybody has anything that they would like to see test, you know, almost a failure or two failure, y'all let me know. Y'all contact me, email me, and uh, i definitely do that for y'all. Something y'all want to see, I'll make it happen. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.